Hello everyone, so today in the first of this video series we'll be going over what jobs and companies you can work for if you live and move to Vancouver. Um, so this video is not meant to be exhaustive in terms of all the possible companies that you can work for uh, if you move to Vancouver, but rather just to give you a taste about what the uh, job posting is like, what companies you can work for, etc. Um, and so this will be the first in the video series covering Vancouver, but in the future videos, hopefully I'll be covering Calgary and as well as Toronto. And then after that one final video, I'll be going over comparing what it's like to live between these three cities so you can make an informed decision. All right, so let's just get started. The first company is a mine engineering posting with B to Gold. So as the name suggests, it is a gold mining company and B2Gold, for this position at least, focuses on underground mining and their operations will be in uh, Canada, Mali, and Nambia. Um, so it is a Vancouver-based position and you will be required to travel up to 30% of the time. Now this posting, uh, the minimum, uh, minimum job experience requirements is actually only three years, but they pay somewhere between 120,000 to 150,000. So that's actually a really good salary um, for the amount of experience that you need. And they do require that you know at least one mine planning software, um, but preferably that you do know Desic because that's the software that they use. So as for the job, it focuses mainly on long range planning and medium term planning, but you also be responsible for doing some budgeting, costing, um, some uh, some analysis related to mergers and acquisitions. So a mix of things that are more medium to long term uh, planning for that. So if that's something that interests you and getting some uh, international experience, BT Gold is a company that you can look forward to. Next position is a mine engineering position with Victoria Gold. Um, also of course based in Vancouver, but um, this uh, mine is actually located in the Yukon. Um, so that's very interesting. Travel requirements is up to 25% of the time. So that's around uh, one week per one quarter. Um, similar to the previous postings, um, you do need to know one software, preferably this week. Um, minimum job experience requirements, this one requires uh, five years plus. And you'll be doing uh, long range planning, but also um, some scenario analysis, um, NI43-101 and feasibility reports. Um, uh, as for the salary, this one didn't really specify, but I'm guessing it's going to be somewhere above $100,000. Um, so very interesting position with Victoria Gold Corp. Alright, so the next company is Tech Resources, one of the largest Canadian mining companies. Uh, mainly their productions are in coal, but they do also have some copper assets in Canada and some other base metals such as zinc around the world. Now for tech resources in Vancouver specifically, they actually don't have any long range planning positions. Those positions are actually all going to be site based. But what you can find um, at the headquarters here in Vancouver is some business improvement positions, uh, product management slash owner positions, there's also the corporate development and strategy analyst role. So if you like something that's a little bit more focused on sort of like the business side of mining, figure out how to find improvements and maximize value of each mining operations, maximize the assets within like, for example, the next five to 10 years, making strategic decisions, then tech resources could be a good fit for you. All right, so moving on to some consultant positions. The next position is gonna be with Stantec. And this is an intermediate open pit mining engineering position. So Stantec is a large global engineering consulting firm. Um, they don't only do mining, they do a lot of other things, mechanical, uh, civil engineering, electrical, a whole wide range of things, but mining is one of the business, businesses that they're in. Um, so with this position focused mainly on open pit, uh, the software that they use is the Hexagon Mindset software. And the travel requirements are up to one week to two weeks, depending on the project needs of the clients. Um, in terms of things that you're expected to do, so it runs through the whole gamut of what mining engineers are responsible for, from short range planning, medium term, medium -term planning, long range planning, 
uh, look at feasibility studies, costings, budget, budgeting, uh, equipment sizing, so everything that's related to mining engineering, um, Stantec at this position you're probably going to be involved in. Now, uh, because it is on the West Coast, it's mainly going to be focused on open pit. If you want to apply for the same position but for more underground focus, that's probably something that's going to be more uh, on the East Coast. Alright, next up we have SRK and we have a Rock Mechanic EIT position. So again, SRK is very similar to Stantec Global Multinational uh, Engineering Consulting Firm. Um, they do a whole wide range of things, but this one um, position I picked out was the Rock Mechanics position in case uh, anyone likes Rock Mechanics more. Um, and just to show a little bit of variety of um, positions you can get in Vancouver. Um, so for this position, um, 30 to 50% of the time would be uh, more field based. So it would be out into the field looking at core logs, um, rock samples, uh, monitoring the drilling programs, and then remainder 50 to 70% of the time would be in the office using Microsoft Excel, Word, AutoCAD uh, to compile and process these data, uh, looking at rock mass characteristics, the, uh, stability, things like that, and then compiling them into a report. But this is a, even though this is a rock mech position, um, they do actually hire people with mining engineering background. So if rock mech is something that you like, then this could be for you. All right, lastly, we're gonna go with a software company. So a mining, mine planning software company called Micromine. Um, the position is called a technical specialist. Now this position only pays 60 to 75K. It's a bit on the lower end, but the reason why is because it's more sort of borderline focused with um, IT help desk. So you'll be responsible for answering the client's emails, phone calls, face-to-face -face meetings, and helping them troubleshoot uh, any problems that they have with the software. Uh, but you'll also be responsible for doing some uh, in-person classroom trainings with the clients or in-house with other, uh, other members of the staff of the company. And in addition to that, you'll also be responsible for uh, managing the impl implementation of the software across the client sites. So that's going to require travel uh, be somewhere between 20 to 25% of the time. Um, so they hire people with a uh, mining degree, IT background, and something that will make you really stand out is if you know SQL or Oracle. All right, so that's it for this video. We covered um, six different companies with six different positions. Um, if you want more uh, companies I can work for, some examples are um, Tesico, uh, Sintera Gold, Imperial Metals, and Deswick, which is another um, software mining mining software company. Um, but for these positions, there's uh, I guess fewer postings, and the postings that you do have um, is probably more on the senior end. So it's probably going to require like. 10 to 15 plus years of experience or like the manager positions or maybe VP positions. Um, but this just goes to show you there's a lot of different opportunities within the Vancouver market. If you want to live in Vancouver, um, most likely you're going to have to be doing some traveling if you're working in the mining industry to the client sites or to the um, flying file position of whatever mine you're working at. So that's it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you guys are looking forward to the Calgary one or the Toronto one, let me know down below. Um, and if you're interested in a comparison video between what it's like living in these three cities, um, let me know as well, as well and I'll be happy to make those videos. Um, so thank you so much and we'll see you guys next time.